once you get the hubs off your trailer and the bearings out, uh, the next step you got to figure out is how do I know what bearings I need to order to get my trailer back up in service. Now the easiest way to do that is you take one of your bearings like this one and if you wipe it down it usually on this surface will have a number and I don't know if you can let me get this up here yeah well huh, that says England okay that number right there okay that's your bearing number and if you can't find a number on your bearing a lot of times you can find a number on the race and there it is right there now the top part of it is worn off so you got to kind of guess um, and then mine actually had like see this one this is the smaller bearing mine has uh, the trailer that I'm doing today has two different size bearings in it. it's got an inner bearing and an outer bearing and they're different sizes this one didn't have a number on it so I had to get the number off of the race right there okay so once you get those numbers what I what I do is I just go in and I put those numbers all of them just you know in a you know put the first number in a space and the next number whatever numbers you can find put them in there and put them go into the internet and see what pops up and then you'll start seeing bearing kits come up with those numbers in there. And then what it's gonna, you're gonna do is you'll look down and it'll show you the measurements of your bearing. Okay, so you have a, this is, this is one of my hubs and it sits on the trailer like this. So this is my inner bearing. See, these are, these are the studs that hold the wheels on. So this is the inner bearing and this is the outer bearing. And on the inner bearing, you're gonna have a seal first and then you're gonna have your uh, race in here and then your bearing sits in top of that. What you'll do is once once you find a kit that you think is the right one, uh, you're gonna have to find one that has measurements. Some of them don't have any measurements and you'll have to either just order it and measure it later or try to keep looking until you find one that's got measurements. And this is my inner race, okay? And this is the measurement that you're gonna need for it. The outer side of it there. And then this is the inner bearing and you're going to measure the distance in here. You're going to need to use a set of calipers in order to read that. And you're going to read it like that. And see that's telling me that that is 1.375. Okay. So you check that and then check your inner bearing the same way. It'll give you an ID inside diameter and you just make sure that those match up. And then your, <clears throat> your outer race, you're going to measure the outside diameter like that. Okay? And if all of those match up, oh, and then the last one is your seal. Here's my seal right here. And if you measure, that's going to be the outer measurement of your seal. And then the inner measurement here, you're actually going to have to look on your axle and measure the part of the axle that this rubs on. When you're measuring your seal, this diameter right here is what you're going to measure to get make sure that you get the inside diameter of your seal correct. And if all those measurements match and the, the seller has put them all online correctly, then you're going to have the right bearing set for your trailer. All right, well, I hope that figure helps you figure out which uh, bearing set that you need to order. Uh, I've got another video out there that shows you how to uh, take these off and install them. So you may want to look at that to help you get them in there. But <clears throat> hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.